We're not going inside yet. It's a boot! Okay, now we'll go inside. Hello and welcome to Resident Evil Village on the PlayStation 5. I already recorded a chunk of this, but the sound didn't record with it, so that's fun. Anyway, let's jump in. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence, the bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from Mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled Mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Pat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a clip of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beast. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. There. She's asleep. What is with the creepy story? She's only six months old. Woman at the store said it was traditional. Mia looks so a good in this parent. game. Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it, thank God. We moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. You're just being paranoid. It's not... Never mind. I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. I'll finish she told dinner. us. Your mother doesn't want to remember it. I can't blame her. Did you say something? Aww. Nothing. I'll put her down. <laughs> yeah, Mia looks like everything looks so good in this game. What's that? Took forever to pick these wipes. What? Rose looks like one of those, like, baby dolls that are eerily realistic, but just, like, not quite there yet. That's what, that's what she looks like. Oh. They're there. It's like I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. Nah. She loves it. Um... 
goes this way. Almost there, oh. honey. This game ties in very closely with Resident Evil 7, as it has the characters from the la from that game. And if you haven't seen that, I'll leave a link below to my playlist, so you can give it a look see yourself. I'd really appreciate it. Here we go, Rose. There you go, sweetheart. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. So cute. That's a cool little um. Ah, oh, what's it? What are they called? Baby monitor. Rose is closed for tomorrow. Uh, February 6, 2021. Me and I had another fight. I accidentally mentioned what happened three years ago and she blew up at me. We finally settled down for our new life in Europe and can bring Rose up properly. But I still feel like a part of me is trapped in that hellhole back in Louisiana. I know Mia doesn't like to talk about it, but can we really just forget everything that and pretend it didn't happen again? Uh, pretend it didn't happen? I don't know why I got it again from him. Shouldn't we face what happened there so we can live our lives with Rose without it hanging over our heads? We owe her that much, at least. I know Mia doesn't know... I know Mia knows it, this, too. She wouldn't have exploded like that at the hospital if she didn't care. She was stuck there for three years, Ethan. Like, she's fucking traumatized. She wants to forget. Uh, Rosemary Winters. Date of birth, 2-8-2020. Uh, things, screening, all results show no issues, patient is in good health. Uh, results for additional fungal pathogen tests will be provided by BSAA, Applefield Memorial Hospital. So it's dope. Rose is fine. So it's dope they moved to Europe, like, that's cool. Oh, Rose's favorite toy. Gun survivalist, a heavy firearms it's manual. I know I have to really have to get you. I said this when I played the demo, which also didn't record sound. I think I fixed it though, so it should be fine. <laughs> these these little prompts that come up, they go away way too fast for me, especially since I try to read them out loud. Yeah, this game's so pretty. And compared to Resident Evil 7, like, when that came out, that was, like, amazing, too. This is just mind-blowing. Especially looking at Mia. All these cute little baby pictures. I like I the little monkey one. Like, this forever. like that one right there? That's, that's so cute. What's that? Just a picture of a pond and lily pads. Kick. Yeah, the fungal test thingy. In Resident Evil 7, if you didn't know, which again, you should check out that playthrough. Um it was all about mold. Why do I even keep this around? I should get rid of it someday. You really should. Especially how loud that thing is in this nice cozy little corner. Like, this is so nice over here. And then you got that thing being loud AF. Reminding you of the past. <coughs> Gotta do a deep clean before Rose starts walking around. Yeah, why, why do you even have a room like this? Like, this would be a really nice room if you just cleaned it up a bit. But yeah, um, well, Resident Evil 7 wasn't all about mold. That was just, like, where the virus came from. And Evelyn. Which is why there were mold monsters and stuff. Curtain closes on the Dolby Gas incident. The committee completed their investigation on the 18th into the Dolby Toxic Gas Leak in Louisiana in 2017. They concluded the deaths were caused by a leak of natural gas that had built up in the mud rock under the area. Jack Baker, 57, and his family, who were exposed to the gas 
perished. Ethan Winters and his wife were also believed to have been nearby, but their current whereabouts are unknown. The entire area has been closed off by officials who believe it will be at least 10 years before the area is habitable again. Hospitable. Everyone's forgotten about this already. Well, yeah, because they chalked it up and covered it up as a gas leak. And they didn't experience it like you did. What is this? Oh, music box. It's so cute. Also, this thing has way too many pins. Oh, the music box grandma gave us for our wedding. I love that. But yeah, this thing has like way too many pins for it to play those little notes. This bathroom is amazing. Like, I want this. There's no tub, which is kind of, eh, but like, the shower is amazing too. He has medication. She's not, but she's been on a strict regimen ever since the incident. I don't see why. Also, I think their toilet's broke. There's no water in it, and it's making sound like it's filling up nonstop. Huh. I didn't notice this in the chunk. I think we move faster than we did in Resident Evil 7. She's going to grow beautiful. Because in Resident Evil 7, I played it recently to get myself familiar with the controls again. And to remember a little bit about it, that leads to the kitchen. Like, we moved so freaking slow. It would be so creepy if that little area that you can see the floor next to the crib if we just looked into it and there was just someone standing there or something. Where's the diaper? She started to outgrow them. Like, I watch way too many, like, horror movies and creepy YouTube videos and stuff. Because whenever I look at something, I'd be like, wouldn't it be so creepy if that happened? <laughs> Mom got you another new book? I don't see the problem with getting another book. Like, that might make Rose, like, be super into reading. And I think that's dope. Aw. Ooh. Oh, Mia. What a miracle. Three years ago, I couldn't even imagine something like this would happen. The food in this? <laughs> like, it looks great. Aw. Little baby chair. I like exploring. Don't judge me. Jazz albums you were never able to get when you were young. Mamma -ma Mia. Is she okay? Sleeping like a, uh, well, like a baby. Hmm, <laughs> that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, Mister. It's chuba de legum. It's a local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Mm. Local wine, too. But if you're gonna keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. You really have to stop worrying. It's just finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at Chris least moved we're us all here? together. You and we went through military close. training. Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be- Seriously, think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so- <laughs> She took that like a champ, Mia, let me say. Get down! 
This is so far. Mia. Oh god. Chris? What the hell? Sorry, Ethan. No! What? Why? Seriously, though. I know she got shot to hell, but I hope Go move. she somehow makes it through this. Like, maybe she still has a strain of the virus in her, and... What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Hopefully she can heal. Because that is so fucked. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. Like, I've seen that, i already seen that part from playing. I didn't get too far into it, I swear. But, like, it's still just so fucking shocking. Hey, Doc. Hello, Mr. Winters. I've got your daughter's results back, and I'd like you to come in to talk about that. How about the next Thursday, 4 o'clock? No problem. We'll be there. That was the doc. She'll see us next week. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. I keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look, she's gonna be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan! You matter! You just Mia, what are you, what are you talking, talking about? about? Is there Is something you're not telling me? me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. I have to take this. I can see why she's mad. Okay. So here's my thoughts <laughs> about what's happening. I think when Rose got tested, they found Jesus. something with the fungal test or whatever. And that's why they came and kidnapped her. About damn time. What's your status? The package safe. What are you talking about? Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose? Who is this? This is a secure channel. You are not on the Fuck. What the hell happened to you? So we crashed. Mission objectives. Eliminate target. Recover body. Secure Rosemary Winters and Ethan Winters. Move the two Winters to Site C for further investigation. At least... Two transport officers to accompany them. Well, here's one. Can I go in here? No. I don't see Mia's body in here. I also don't see the other transport officer. Obviously, our baby's not here either. But yeah, I think they found something in that fungal test. That's why Chris is being such a freaking dick. Also, the detail in us walking. Oh, it's not showing up now. That's some bullshit. I was about to compliment it and then it doesn't do it. 
I swore last time. Yeah, look. Like, it leaves little footprints of where we walked in the snow, and I think that's... I like, I like little details like that. Dude, why... So I would have just crawled underneath it instead of picking it up. Like, this barbed, rusty barbed wire, dude, like... <laughs> this is like more dead crows than a usual Resident Evil game. So many! Oh god, that was so alive! It's a woo-woo. It's a werewolf. Just ran in front of me. It's so dark. I wish he would, like, point the flashlight higher instead of directly at the ground in front of his feet. Wait, that's not a door. That's a door. Useful. Oh, I stepped on a bottle. Oh. We gotta follow the blood. Mr. Owl? You got a Tootsie Pop? What's this? It's the Crow God. I didn't see this last time. That's like the... It's like the emblem on the front of the case. <sighs> Rattata! You the one making all this mess? I really hope that they have DLC like they did with Resident Evil 7 for this. Because that just added, like, it added so much to the game. Bro. Oh, God. Ugh, we got their blood in our cut now. Did all this. It was that rat. Even put this giant hole in the wall. Oh, it's light out now. This shot right here. Where the hell am I? It's so freaking pretty. What was that noise? Was it that crow? Like this? 
is freaking gorgeous. I'd go here. I'd go here just to take pictures. Probably deadly AF, but like that view, you can't beat that. <laughs> oh, there's like a smaller, there's like a little smaller castle over there. Sure, it was a way to get the windmill in the shot, but like this, amazing. Let's go. Oh, horsey! What happened? What they do to you? Sure. This is fresh. Like, this just happened. Oh god. Someone was hungry. anything in here or no okay oh <gasps> horsey where are you going this is the chicken coop I know what's down these. I want. I'm gonna guess like maybe ammo, or little, or other little consumable things. But I think we need like a like a crank or something to get into them. Oh, all the animals are gone. No, that's not stairs. This is... These pros are making weird noises. This part right here. <gasps> What's your monkey here? That was loud. That made my ears rumble. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. But yeah, this part right here with the music playing reminds me of Outlast 2. Oh, little goats. Who what did this happened? to you?
Locked to do. Locked due to missing homo. Is this where I just was? Yeah. Anything over here? No? Okay. <gasps> Chickens! I think that was closed. Hello? Yoo-hoo! Think some will blow out? Noise. Step. Did they just run out of the house? I don't know how you're gonna ask about this one when the uh, the one in the other house was like steaming and fresh and looked way better than this one. Sent you? Nobody. There was an accident down the road. And... What's going on? Oh no! They're coming. Who is? What the hell was that? Do you have a gun? What? Please tell me you have a gun. No. Why would I? And like seriously, you hear all the stuff happening, and you're gonna just start screaming, drawing closer to us. Oh God! Dead body, Bruh, No, Wait, a bunch of them. There's more. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Why are there so many under his house? Jesus Christ. What the hell is wrong with this place? Can I move yet? Oh god! What the fuck was that? I forgot about that part. Not good at shooting. They take so many hits. Especially since I'm terribly aiming what the hell uh i need to i forgot this had a different inventory than the last game got to get used to that i'm going to tell you right now once we get to the castle, that's going to be all new to me. Because I recorded up to that. And I'm so...
so mad that it's all unusable. Can I just shoot it? Chem fluid. Some herb. I really need... Oh, there's a water wheel. That's cute. I really need more ammo. Bolt cutters. Dope. Let's go. I thought I seen something out the window. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna go this way first. Nothing? Really? Alright, Mr. Dead Body. Let's see what's up. You just know that's gonna happen. Like, I knew that was gonna happen before I even seen it. We're not going inside yet. It's a boot! <sighs> okay, now we'll go inside. Hello? <sighs> Nothing. Oh, gross. Oh, it's even dripping down the wall. No, 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 no. Ah. Ethan, why are you so loud? Nope. Nope. I haven't tried this yet, so I don't know how strong the knife actually is. Back the fuck off me, bro. That ain't bad. Considering I would have wasted all my ammo fighting him. Like that wasn't over. That wasn't too bad. Uh was there anything else up here? N no. If there are any survivors out there, come to my to Louisa's house near the fields. Survivors? Yep, survivors. Alright. I think that's a good place to stop for the first episode. I really like this game. I think it's really pretty. 
Uh, I think Chris is fucked up in the head for doing that to us. And... Yeah, I'm hoping to speed through the part, the small chunk that I already got through and get to new stuff. Because this game is actually really good. And... Again, you should check out Resident Evil 7 if you haven't on my channel yet. Link will be below. Link to the game will also be down below. And I hope to see you in the next one.